Hello, how is how are you doing today? Hope everyone is okay. This is Sandra from Sandra's Crafty Mom. And I am here to share this is a project for the fourth week of the Rainbow Collaboration. Now the fourth week color was blue, so I really like blue, but for some reason had a little bit of a hard time trying to figure this one out. But, so the first thing I had in mind was I made this little booklet for one of my pen friends for 4th of July. And I'm not quite done coloring it in yet, but I was using just pencils and the design was a little bit too big, so I had to trim it here and I think that's the only place I ended up having to trim it was in this little corner right here, the little um, torch. And then I put Sweet Land of Liberty on the inside. And this right here has a little tuck. Let's see if I can get something to show so that I can put something in here for my pen friend. So it's going to have a little tag in here or some kind of note in there. And then this is blank right here so that I can write. And then this is a little bit of um, pattern paper that I use for this page. And it is blank here to be able to write some more. And I probably will put some kind of tucks and little tags in these little in these pages that have designs on them. And that the part of the cardstock. This is blank and then here I put a little kite. Oh I'm about to sneeze. Allergies here in Texas are driving me bonkies. But anyhow this I cut a little picture of a kite in 4th of July colors and put it there. And I left these two little tuck-ins. One here. Oops. I didn't like that when I did that. The camera did not like that at all. I'm going to put a little pocket, a little pocket here for some stickers or anything that I might want to add as a tuck in and right over here. And I'll, I could probably add some washi or any other 4th of July um, items that I might want to share. And then these are empty blank pages in here. And here's the other side of that cardstock. And then this, I think, oh, there's one more design cardstock here in blue, which was the main color of for the week. And then the out the back cover, which um, probably going to put my sticker here. It says created by Sandra Crafty Mom. I'm going to probably stick that right back there. And then instead of this, this little book that did have the book the holes in, and I could have sewn it in and binded it. But what I decided to do was to go ahead and staple these ends right here. And I will probably put a little bit of um, fun fur or some kind of ribbon to tie it because it does want to open, kind of stay open, propped open, and it doesn't want to lay flat. So that is one of the projects I made for the Rainbow Collaboration Week 4. Um, the main color being blue. And then uh, I will go ahead and give the links to the other allergies for this video. Have just They decided to just want to mess with me now that I'm recording this. But <clears throat> let me take a sip. A water. Maybe I can get through this video without sneezing or, or um, anything else. But anyhow, I'm going to put the links to the other collaborator, collaborators uh, as usual. And there are, they are Tammy from My World in OKC and Jody from Jody's Craft Room. And then if you want to um, make your own video and you're not part of the collaboration, you can put the hashtag, I think it's called Rainbow, I think it's Rainbow Collaboration. And then that way others can find your video and stop by and visit you and give you some comment love on your uh, creations with the color blue. But all that will be down below in the um, more info section. 
Okay, so this is my second project because I thought one was fine, but then I wanted to do a little bit more because I was really inspired by this background here. It's a background stamp, and I stamped it and colored it all in, and there's pieces of it still because it was a big square that I colored in. So there's other pieces here on my desk for this background that I, even though I colored it, I didn't uh, use because if you can see, it's got like a little scallop at the bottom and around the edge because I used a little scallop die to cut it and then it's flat on this side. I think it was a Sizzix die that I used. And then I typed, um, I typed, um, no, I stamped just because on a little piece of paper and then I kind of popped it up and then put some little bling on the corners there to give it a little shine and then on the inside it says just because you're one of a kind and stamp that right on there and then here is another piece of what was left from the cutting out from the outside I put one of them here and then the other ones I'll use in other cards or probably in the letter that I used to include with this card, what I'll do is I'll use those extra pieces to decorate the writing page. So anyhow, this is the projects that I came up with for the Rainbow Collaboration Week 4 uh, in blue. And this was the final week, and I've really enjoyed um, doing all the different colors and just trying to come up with things in these colors that were um, assigned for each week. Anyhow, you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, post them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it as much as some other videos, man, then give it a thumbs down. Either way, um, it's nice to know that you all stopped in and watched it. And um, if you enjoy the um, videos that you've been seeing on my channel, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give a click to the little um, notification and then you'll be notified when um, I post new videos. I try to post them once a week if I'm able to. Most times it's not. It's maybe once a week, once every other week or sometimes I get over ambitious and I might do two in a week. But summer has been um, keeping me busy so I will do the best I can to share more of the um, my inspirations with you so uh, that way hopefully that will inspire you to make some things and I get my inspiration from watching other YouTube videos and from chatting with my crafty friends and whatnot so and one of the things that's going on around my house here now is that I am trying to downsize because I have way too much for this small apartment and from the looks of it, we're, we're going to be going probably to another apartment, even though we did sell our house. I don't know if, uh, if I've mentioned it before, but we sold we finally sold our house in Oklahoma. And that is a thing of the past. And um, so now we're in this apartment and we will probably go hopefully to another apartment. Or maybe if we get lucky, we'll go into a, a home, which would be nice so that way I can unpack all my wonderful um craft supplies and have room for everything instead of having to go through boxes in the garage to uh, sort through stuff. Anyhow, that's a whole different story for a whole nother video. You all have a great day. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye now.